uh, I don't know if meditation can be taught. Number one, I talk about meditation. There are many gurus who teach meditation, who teach yoga. I wonder what kind of meditation they teach. First thing is what is meditation? If I close my eyes and sit down, is this meditation? I'm just closing my eyes. See, we have three states of mind, right? One is waking, one is dream, one is deep sleep, right? Cut the deep sleep out because that is out of experience. Dream and waking. Waking also we are dreaming. Aren't we dreaming all the time? True. We are dreaming. Now, if I can change this dream state to some other state, then I can call that meditation. So, if I do breathing, I do pranayama, okay? Is this meditation? Maybe that will help you to meditate well? No, I'm not asking that. How do you know? I'm saying, is it meditation? No. It's breathing? Yeah. Okay? You breathe even when you're doing exercise, when you're doing other, okay? Maybe this is a more deep kind of a breathing. Maybe it will make you more healthy. Maybe it will make your nerves good. Any exercise will make you strong, right? So, it has its place. What? Breathing. Pranayama. Okay. Now, what else you have? Chanting. I say, Ram, 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 Ram. Is this meditation? Is this what you mean by meditation? No. Sometimes it can. Okay. For a very simple person. Suppose, I'm just saying, if a, if a mind is very simple, and if you just give him the name of God, it can become meditation. What did Kabir say? He said, Ram, Ram only, no? So it can, but how, when? How, when? When you have turned your face away from the world completely and turned your attention to? God. God, not knowing what God is. But you are giving full attention to that God which you don't know, which means what? Which means the unknown. Now, where is the unknown? Where is the unknown? There has to be some unknown to which you are paying attention or it's an imaginary world. This, where you are sitting, no, where I am sitting, this is unknown. The now is unknown. Isn't it? How can you know it? You can, either you can see it, pay attention or miss it. Right? So, to live in the now is to live in the unknown. But a mind which is, you know, working like a machine all the time, can that mind suddenly fold up and come into the now? No. So, therefore, your mind for meditation to be, your, what your mind has to do first, fold up. Like a book, you are reading a book, it must be closed, kept aside, your mind must be shut and kept aside. Then what happens is meditation, right? Which means it is not a mental thing at all. It is a thing in which thought has no place. Okay, but can you or can we normally, normal human being, can we become that silent? If we become quiet, there is words start coming from inside. We start thinking from inside. I am meditating. <laughs> is my meditation, my posture is okay? Is anybody coming? Is the light okay? Is the music okay? You are always distracted. We are always distracted, right? So where there is no distraction, where distraction is end, actually, factually, factually means? In, in, in Hindi, we have a word called hak. Hak means hak. Hak means real, hakikat, real, hakikat. So in actuality, if your mind can fold up, then what remains inside? Behind this thinking, we have, we have the light of consciousness, the light. Just like you see the sunlight, okay? We have another light which is passing through, right now, through your brain and through my brain equally. Okay, and it's passing through everything, the whole universe, this whole universe, which is so great, it is like a small little bubble in this light. So you can imagine what the light is. The light is actually infinite. Okay, you have to see it to know it. Okay, I've seen it, that's why I'm telling you. So once your mind is folded, suddenly you are the light. Aren't you? Two. Because now, in between, when, when this light is coming, if I keep my hands here, then you are seeing the hand in that light. But if I fold my hand, what is there now? 
light. Only light. In which the universe has been formed and in which the universe will dissolve and not affecting the light at all. Okay? In our scriptures, we call this light the Brahma, the totality. Okay? Now, how this universe is formed? This light, a part of this light, like suppose there is a sea, okay, and a part of it becomes ice. So a part of this energy, the light, has become matter. It's become this body, this you, me, camera, you know, everything, this stones, everything. A part of, small part, has become materialized. Okay? And in that also there are so many grades of energy. Right? Starting from the thick earth and stone to space. And even probably subtler than, I think space is more subtle than light also. Light as the, the sunlight or any other light, very subtle energy. Even subtler than uh, light is space. Right? And even subtler than all this, this is very gross, is that light. So once you realize that light, okay, then you know how meditation acts in your actual life, in your how it acts. I think now I got the answer for my first question. Okay. Where did you disappear? Because <laughs> you, you wanted the state of mind, you wanted to achieve this, so you've detached yourself from the entire world.